Hey everyone, this is Cindy, and I just wanted to uh, talk about the idea I showed the other day when I was uh, talking about this uh, Traveler's Notebook insert. I showed how I'd made a tuck spot using these large puzzle pieces. And I originally had these just in my stash, just from, I think it was a puzzle my grandson had here. And, um, you know, of course you can't throw anything away, so I was like, what can I do with these things? And originally I had decided, well, I would just put them at the bottom, the base of a cluster, and staple everything to that. But it makes the cluster way too thick, so forget that idea. So I thought, what else can I do with those things? So anyway, I decided they would make a great tuck spot, and they do, because they're thick enough that they'll hold in place just whatever you put behind them. And then, of course, their shape makes them real interesting. So I just kind of did some little experimenting with ways to decorate them. And it's just like anything else in junk journal, just uh, junk journals, just whatever your journal calls for or whatever your creativity is that day is what works. So anyway, th on this one, I just made a little collage with just some bits and pieces that were still on my desk. So then I decided, well, okay, I kind of like having these things around, but only had five of them. So I thought I'll go to Dollar Tree and get another puzzle. Well, I couldn't find one as big as this one, but I'm sure they'll have them eventually. But I did find this little Sesame Street one. And I thought, you know, these would be cute just the way they are, depending on what journal you're using. Like this one could go in a gardening journal, or some of these other ones could be cute in um, a um, little golden book. So it just depends. You don't have to do anything to them. They'll just make great tuck spots the way they come. And um, on these, I uh, just did some experiments. And on all of them, I just painted out the design with some paint because they weren't a very pretty design on these. So I just gave them the, the base color and thought, what can I do with them? So I took a stencil and just stenciled on this one. And sure enough, it took the stencil real well. And um, on this one, I just said, well, what about the dis uh, Distress Oxide inks? And you can see where I just took the corners of the ink pad and just stamped on there. And yep, those look good too. And of course I could have blended them more than this, but I just kind of wanted to show the different colors. And both of these two, you know, can just be the, the beginnings of a design, just a background on there. And then I thought, okay, what about stamping? And they stamp, it stamped great. This has got three different stamps on it. It's upside down. And uh, it did great until I got the great idea of coloring in that plant with my watercolor pens, pencils and then putting a little water color, water on there to blend them. Well, of course, then it faded out my ink. So you, this still has a pretty good color, but just remember if you're stamping and you wanna put some water on it, use the right kind of ink. But anyway, it still gives you an idea. And then this one, I just Mod Podged a napkin on it and I really like the way it looks. Definitely is a, a real pretty design and a good way to get a good picture on there, but the hard part about this is getting the napkin, you know, cut around these holes. Normally, you can um, just take your scissors and trim around. And, some, you know, when it's wet, you can also tear it off. But I was afraid I would tear it too much. So I thought, let me just experiment and let it dry and see what it's like. So it wasn't too bad. I tore off some of it. And uh, some, of course, I could trim with scissors. And then the rest, I'm just taking this emery board and can just file away just anything that's still stuck up. So um, it's not bad. So you just have to experiment with that, too. But it's that would be a really cute uh, tuck spot in a journal I'm working on on birds. So anyway, this was just my ideas on different ways you can use these big old pieces into your journals and they don't have to just stay in your stash. So anyway, hope you like these ideas. I'll talk to you later. Bye.